Hello, VNTV. Welcome back to our latest installment of our show. Uh, we usually stress on health and wellness, but today we're going to mix it up a little bit. We're going to do something a little fun. We have a special guest. His name is Jam and Jay, but of course, Dana Vo, our special uh, co-host. Thank you, Dana. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to VNTV again today. We're very excited to have our guest come in today, not to talk about anything about health anymore, but it's the holiday, so we love to talk about music, and, and I really love to introduce him today, and welcome to our show. Thank you. <laughs> welcome. Uh, so I want to, so you back to the Jam and Jay, you, your famous name is back in the days of Jam and Z90. Yes. Right? So I want to give you the platform to introduce yourself to our viewers. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm known as the legendary DJ Jam and Jay uh, with Jam and Z90. Uh, I was the first Asian DJ out here in San Diego to, uh, to broadcast and Z90 gave me that chance and the owner came at me and asked me, what is my DJ name? <laughs> and I told him, I'm Jamming J. Mm -hmm. So the owner asked me, can I put Jamming mm -hmm. with the Z90? Yeah, that's so right. So that's why Jamming Z90 became Jamming Z90. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a happening station. Right back in the day, I remember. I remember listening to you. I was. Like, what, what were the years you were on the the, the the radio show? I was there since 1989 to 2008. Wow, that's right. That's because yeah, that's basically covers my high school and my college years. Yes. Right? I love music, and I never really um, know about Jam and G90. Uh, so oh. I'm I'm very excited today to know more about mm -hmm. it and actually to share with other people about what you have done mm -hmm. and what are you doing now. So uh, let me ask you a question: What really motivate you or what really get you into doing DJ? Well, what got me to DJing is that um, my favorite DJ back then was Madonna's DJ, mm -hmm. Jelly Bean Benitez. Oh, oh that's so awesome. I learned his roots. Yeah. Then from then, you know, you have to practice. Wait, who's Madonna? No, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. She used to sing Like yeah, a Virgin. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes, yes. So yes. Of course, of course. <laughs> yes. So okay. I got a chance to meet him. Oh, yes. I got a chance to meet him and her, too. So I had a, he gave me a lot of inspiring yeah, stuff, yeah. what to do. So what I did, I started incorporating my style. Mm -hmm. So with the jamming, I learned how to quick mix yeah, and yeah. how to drop a beat. Yep and make the music flow like a high energy that mm -hmm. you don't even know we switched that next song mm -hmm. what was the type of genre of music that z90 was playing what were you specializing in i was specialized in hip-hop yep oh, okay. mm -hmm. yes that's, that's pretty right popular in our time. yeah it was <laughs> especially high school and college it's still very popular still very, very popular, popular hip-hop yes so yeah. it's more music is a soul for me um and i learned english through music and, and i think that a lot of people use music to express their feeling you know, instead of really be able to communicate through mm -hmm. a regular channel, but through music, it make it more, make it more fabulous in that yes. way. So let me ask you a deeper question regarding music. Uh, what, when you DJ, what does it really make you feel? So that well, with our, our audience and young kids that want to go into mm -hmm. DJ, uh -huh. I really want to mm -hmm. share with them the the experience all the experience always have good and bad yes so what yep. is the good and what is the bad that you can oh, share with right. them that okay what, what is good about this is that um as a dj uh especially if you're doing a club mm -hmm. You have to look at your people. Mm -hmm. You have to see, okay, is it an older crowd mm -hmm. or is it a younger crowd? So then you have to interact with your music. Sure. So if it's an older crowd, like 40, 50s, mm -hmm. you have to throw the 90 music. Yeah, 90 or 80s. I yes. Guess. Yeah, that's big. That's yeah. what they I like. I love the 80s, by the way. Because a lot of these people really don't like the rap music, mm -hmm. yeah, the newer yeah. generations. Sure. But the ones like 25 and 30, mm -hmm. you have to play that type of music because mm -hmm. they like to dance. Mm -hmm. And a lot of yeah, them. Yeah, because hip hop is a great beat. Yes. Right? Good dancing. Yes. Pumps up the blood. And I, I noticed, you know, being your friend, I've known you for many years, you always have a very good positive energy to you, you know? Yes. And so that, that <laughs> obviously drives your music, drives what you do. And so what are you involved in nowadays? If you could uh, tell our viewers, like what, since you've your DJ days. What I'm doing now, I'm doing club promotions. Mm -hmm. So I do club events all over San Diego. Yep. So basically that I put an event together. I have my DJs, mm -hmm. I have my music artists. Mm -hmm. Then I also have my products. Then I have sponsors. Yeah, that's great. So the thing is that if you want to put a good event, you have to piece all those sure, together. Of course. And having sponsors to, to sponsor your event mm -hmm. will make the event even better. Of course. Especially if the sponsor is very known. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are going to see yeah. what you have to offer. Mm -hmm. Because you can go to any club 
and say, okay, they just only have this, but this club has this. I'm going to go to this club. Mm -hmm. Even though the money might cost a little bit more, mm -hmm. but you're going to get more exposure over there because of what they're offering. Mm -hmm. So are you still familiar with like the clubbing scene here in San Diego? Like what, what do you recommend in terms of nightlife for our viewers? What's, yes. what's the best San Diego has to offer, would you say? Well, the best that San Diego offers is now, it's the podcast. Mm -hmm. So that's live interview. Mm -hmm. That's what we have. Yeah. We're, we're called, you know, G4M mm -hmm. show. Uh, me and my partner, A.D. Walker. Mm -hmm. uh, we host that, you know, um, Monday nights. Oh, we have awesome. that. Awesome. Then we go to the clubs. Mm -hmm. We set up everything here. Yeah. It also gives exposure to the bar, mm -hmm. or to the place that you're holding it. Sure. You're also talking to the bar manager and the people that are working with it, mm -hmm. you know, the promoters, then the artists. Yeah. You want to bring that artist to feel how it feels to be like a mainstream artist like J-Lo, mm -hmm. you know, and Michael Jackson, the late Michael Jackson. He was great. He was mm -hmm. a perfectionist. Yeah, yeah. He was one well, person. He's one of the best vocalists I've yes. ever heard. And his style is just un impeccable. Un right? unbelievable, unbelievable voice. Yeah. He, yeah. This guy, every time, like when we used to meet me and Michael, he tell me, Jay, I got this new music. I want to play. He used to work with Michael Jackson. Yes. Wow. You know his favorite song? Right? I can't stop loving you. Yes. That is the most that was beautiful, a beautiful love song, song I've ever. Viewers, please, YouTube. I can't stop loving you by Michael Jackson. I guarantee you, it's a wonderful but song. But the one thing that's always been hit over the, the top in Halloween time is mm -hmm. Thriller. Oh, that yeah. is always a that's crowd. That's one of the best music videos I've ever seen. Yes. And that that, that, that was a legendary back in the day. Yes. Right? And that was like early '80s for them to produce that type of you know, hit and dynamic yes. was just uh -huh. incredible. Because at that time, we, we didn't have CDs yeah, exactly. or anything yeah. about that time. That's right. We had this little cassette mm -hmm. and he would always give it to me. Mm -hmm. But didn't... what they had was MTV and they used yes. to play great music videos. Yes. I mean, MTV nowadays, I'm not sure what they're doing. They're doing more like live stuff, right? Yes. No more music videos. No more music, music videos. videos. They stopped that. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you don't see that anymore. Mm -hmm. Like I'm telling people, that circle is coming back. Old school style is coming back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even with everything, our food, we're going back to organic. Yes. The music's the same. We go back to the organic kind of music that mm -hmm. we're listening to. So let me go back to the question real quick. So, you know, every time when I listen to a song, I always have some meaning to mm -hmm. me, like a memory uh, yes. or something that will trigger how you feel at certain point in time. Uh -huh. So when you play DJ for many years, what is the connection of you with the music and, and how that bring you become who you are today. See, the thing is, you got to love music, mm -hmm. any type of genre. Mm -hmm. I listen to everything. Mm -hmm. But what soothes my soul and the heart, I love country music. Oh, I'm yeah. not going to lie to you. Country is very good. <laughs> yeah, a lot of country music. Yes. People couldn't no, it's very good. Yes. country music. They, they actually speak about real life. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yeah. the language is more proper than any and, yes. and there's other a language. There, and there's, there's a message. There's, there's a, a message, message about life, there's about love, true. life, loss, right? Mm -hmm. Heartache. You know, yes. proper English and even with music. Yes. Proper English in music, they sound much more beautiful than any other you know, yeah, they, they ain't talking about how to use their AK or not having no. to use their AK because uh -huh. it was a good day. Yeah. <laughs> or I'm, I'm, I'm rolling, balling, song, high mansion, yeah. all that kind of stuff. So Big I, money. My other question to you is if um, a person, like a young kid, want to go into DJ, okay. uh, what type of equipment that it will be affordable for them to start if they're really interested in doing DJ? So what you need now, because it's not about turntables mm -hmm. now. Yeah. It's more the, the, what you call it, the computer. Oh, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. People, I see DJs doing, yes. using their iMac, right? The yes, you, there's always yeah. uh, apps where yeah, you can mix. DJ to be a DJ. Mm -hmm. It will show you step by step mm -hmm. how, how to do it. And also, you got to have a mixer. You got to mm -hmm. have the mixer. Mm -hmm. Then you got to have your speakers. Yeah. You can how have can that. they learn about the craft, though? How can they learn more? You know, get that proper education to become a DJ. What, what, are, what there is, because there's like a, a apps, um, DJ 101, mm -hmm. you can always look that up. Mm -hmm. It'll talk about, you know, how to scratch. It'll, it'll talk about how to drop the beat. Mm -hmm. it, will, it, will, it will teach you how to flow the music, you know, without missing a beat. Mm -hmm. you, you don't even, can't even tell what that, dun, 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 then goes to another song. Mm -hmm. You couldn't even tell. That's great. 
So, so the thing is that if you really want to be a really good DJ, you got to practice. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And that's practice makes perfect with always. everything in life, right? So I want to ask you something I always ask my, our guests. Okay. Uh, I like to end the show with kind of like pearls of wisdom. Right? Yes. So you're, you know, we've known each other for a while. I love your positive energy. We always get along well. You, yes. you see me in my dark days. <laughs> yes. Not many people saw me during that time, but he saw me firsthand. I, but anyways, let's not go there. But I want to ask you, so if you could share with our viewers, you know, what gets you going? What gets your blood pumping? You know? Okay, what gets me pumping because um, I love to wake up every day and I thank God, okay. you know, what? for mm -hmm. for a wonderful night, yeah. you know, and get, hopefully giving me a beautiful, wonderful day. Mm -hmm. Me meeting wonderful people like you guys or anyone yeah. on the streets, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes I see homeless. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think about it. Should I give him money or should I buy him food? Mm -hmm. What I do is I buy him food mm -hmm. because you don't know where that money could go. Very true. Very so true. I always... I always think positive. You, one thing, wake up smiling. Mm -hmm. You do that, your whole day will be yeah. smiling through the rest, rest of the yeah, day. Yeah, there's psychologi psychological studies, what smile does. Because yes. what it does, it releases endorphins for us. So even if you're having a really bad day, if you could just try to crack that smile or, yes. or make someone smile, Yes. right? By, by doing that, it's called inference and you're transferring that. You're getting, you know, you're doing a good kindness, yes. mass, you know, kindness mm -hmm. act and you get that kindness in return. See, right. the thing is to, if you walk by somebody, say hi. Mm -hmm. Don't don't be the person to wait till someone says hi. Mm -hmm. Just say hi. That's a great point. Because that, that, that person, person, even though they look like they don't want to say hi, they could be having a really bad day. Yes. And by you saying hi, that could make it could turn that yes. you know their thoughts around. Mm -hmm. and, and I mean, for my daily routine, the first thing I get up in the morning, I turn on the music, mm -hmm. the song that actually inspires you to feel happy. And what song do you put? So, you what, what was it um, this you know, morning? It's the pain. <laughs> The, the you know it's your mood sure mm -hmm. and, and so what was it this morning music yes my favorite. Favorite. that's uh, always play mine again. yeah you one of mm -hmm. my favorite play again. songs okay mm -hmm. so uh, you know that's what i wanted to share with people music will you have to love music yes mm -hmm. and and you cannot not love music mm -hmm. because it's, it's you know it's everything it's yes about your life it, you you can you know listen to a song and said you know what i went through that and i'm glad that somebody wrote mm -hmm. into a song mm -hmm. so thank you again for coming today and I, I really appreciate what you do sharing the music to everyone mm -hmm. and actually sharing that mixed music that we we don't stop listening to one song but it continues <laughs> yes. another different uh -huh. song and that's what i like and <laughs> thank you um Kwa, and I, I i like the song you mentioned mm -hmm. i can stop yeah loving, loving you is a beautiful song very beautiful song for you probably i can stop loving myself okay i want to do some closing thoughts and uh first i want to thank you jam and jay for sharing your thoughts and thank you for you having know, me you, here. Sh you shared not only about the music but also your positive energy Right, and your gratitude. It's actually some episodes we we covered that in the past. And yes, I, I really think that that gives you, you know, the, it's the aura you present to the world, right? Yes. You have that positive aura, and you're trying to do good for people, and that it shows, and you get life. Life gives you back in return. So I want to share with my viewers, our viewers, just you know, life. We go through tough times. Everyone does, but just to have that gratitude, that thankful heart, and try to do kindness because kindness really matters. And uh, I want to appreciate. Uh, I want to thank you, everyone, for. Uh, wonderful and listening in and give us your feedback we always try to make our shows better for you guys and we thank you for your support and and suggest any topic you want to talk about and and thank you again so share positive energy everyone and have a great day thank you thank you so much thank you jam and jay thank you guys